Have you seen this image before? Well, what about this one? Or this one, showing a guy in a hood? If you said yes to any of these questions, then you might be familiar with the Mandela Catalog. A popular internet sensation on platforms such as TikTok or Discord. The Mandela Catalog was uploaded on August 10th, 2021. After a month since its upload, it gained some traction. But after two months since its upload, it has blown up. In just 17 days, the volume of the Mandela Catalog has amassed approximately 80,000 likes. Now, there are a plethora of videos surrounding this topic shortly after the first volume was released, which would then be followed by the release of the second volume. The channel known for uploading these Mandela Catalog videos is Alex Kister, but the channel was previously known as just Mandela Catalog, identifying itself as an internet horror series. When looking at Kister's channel, there are a dozen videos with horror type elements and similar themes. But the one we'll be looking at is at volume 2 of the Mandela Catalog. The video starts with a title called Winter Break 2009. We didn't see a wanted poster with two guys on it. And then there's a shot of an outdoor site with snow. After that, there is somewhat of a creepy shot of the dark house with a flashlight being pointed everywhere, which is then followed by still shots of a door and something on the ground. Then finally, there is one last shot showing a television that flashes a series of disturbing images. And that is just one volume or video out of many. Looking at the other videos in this channel, the Mandela Catalog Volume 1 will be looked at as well. Starting off, there is VHS-like effects found throughout this video. Then there is another frame of two distorted figures. Then there is a cut off of a so-called found VHS footage. Then there is a shot of a well-known hooded figure at the end of the video. Now, a quick recap. We can notice a certain type of horror being shown here through the use of VHS effects and apparent lost footage. The Mandela Catalog is known for these features that are contained in its videos, which leads us to know that the Mandela Catalog is in the category of analog horror. It is also known to be a popular genre found on the internet as of recently. Or, you can just look at it at the end of the video to know that it is indeed analog horror. As previously mentioned, analog horror is just a genre of creepy footage that pertains to old media such as VHS media. Well now, it's time to know, who is Alex Kister? Well, looking through on YouTube, you can see that Alex Kister has another channel dedicated for live streaming or anything that isn't related to his analog horror projects. Unlike other creators or of ARGs and mysteries, Alex is pretty active and engaged with his community always having a good time with his audience and answer whatever the community has to ask. With this, it makes it not so difficult to find out who the creator of the Mandela Catalog truly is. His activity and presence have made it possible to get to know both him and the Mandela Catalog more. Now as for why the Mandela Catalog was created, there is somewhat an answer. Kister explains in an interview that other forms of analog horror or scary media have inspired him to come up with his creation. Now looking into the meaning of these uploads, the Mandela Catalog contains a subject surrounding isolation, which is a clear reference to quarantine. A person has to face alternates in the form of not only realities, but people as well. This is another clear reference to social distancing. Overall, this is just one whole reference to that virus thingy, or what YouTube does not allow at the moment. There are also some other things that revolve around doppelgangers, which is technically related to the alternate person thing, but it's worth noting that it is also inspired by the pandemic. These are pretty much what the catalog is about in terms of one specific theme found in it, which as previously mentioned is an inspiration that I took from the virus. Knowing that the Mandela catalog is about 
and why it was made makes this mystery solved. Well, there are still a few things to cover about this internet sensation. And one of those things are how the catalog itself was edited and made. We can tell that the videos contain some sources that have been altered to give the Mandela catalog the unique characteristics and what it contains. Talking about the VHS effects, these were made for the purpose of giving the analog its necessary characteristics. As the old school effects fit the criteria of what analog horror is considered to be. There are a few shots of eerie sites such as dark night roads and driveways, as well as shots of places in a house. There are also messages and warnings here and there with texts about different things in the form of VHS format. These warnings may look convincing at first, but in the end are found to be products of good editing. Now, what's expected is there to be high quality software used to make these phenomenal edits, but that is not the case. Instead, it is revealed to be edited in a very simpler and surprising way, which happens to be just an iPhone 11. Here's Kister's answer to the question. Sipix asks, what editing software do you use? I don't use the software. I use my phone. I use this. This is every Mandela catalog video has been made on this phone. Um, with the exception of I used audacity on my laptop, um, for one part in volume one, but I mean, I use, let's see, I use iMovie, I use CapCut, Canva, Pixelmatic, Rare Vision VHS, um, and a bunch of other little like one-off apps that does like maybe a specific little effect in particular. I found a Reddit comment earlier talking about the simplicity of the creation and process of analog horror, and it does indeed look much simple than it actually seems. The last video that will be covered about the Mandela catalog is the first video of it ever, titled Overthrown. This video happens to be an upload about the birth of Jesus Christ, however with a twist. First off, there is a noticeable difference in the original filter of the video, but if you listen to the audio, you can hear a distorted voice speaking as the narrator. We then see an angel approach, Mary but there is a huge distortion in its appearance. There is a black bar covering the face of an angel as a conversation between Mary and the angel occurs. It is known that the angel has been identified as Gabriel. Now this episode in accordance to the lore found in the Mandela catalog, which states that the objective of Gabriel is to prevent Jesus from being born. Now there's a lot of different videos that Kisser has uploaded but Overthrown happens to be the first choice of his, which does contain a somewhat sensitive topic about religion. Alex says in an interview that his existential crisis along with his interest in religion as a topic has influenced the creation of Overthrown, which explains why the episode was made. Now, as for the original source of the video, it is no mystery that it is found to be a part of a children's Bible series titled The Nativity which is indeed the telling of the birth of Jesus Christ. The existence of Gabriel as the main antagonist of the Mandela catalog can be seen as the result of inspiration from many sources, which has led Kester to create the characters that we now know today. The Mandela catalog volume three has been released about a week ago from the recording of this video. New elements have been implemented visually and it is a sign of progress and evolution that has taken place in this amazing web series. As for the future of the series, time can only tell. There are a lot of different lore and action in this series, which means that anything can happen here. This is the Mandela Catalog. Recap time. In summary, the Mandela Catalog is an analog horror that has gained popularity and notoriety, created by Alex Kister, a college student has many of editing such as using the form of lost media, contains the subject of doppelgangers in isolation, gives very creepy vibes, results in a huge release of videos about the topics, causes the birth of many memes, uses different topics such as religion and history, birthed a unique antagonist based on an archangel, utilizes many special effects 
to give a convincing expression with text shows security like footage in this analog horror and is revealed to be edited through the simplicity of an iPhone. It is clear that the Mandela catalog has significantly influenced analog horror in general. Now with all this information, it is fair to say that this somewhat of a mystery has been solved. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.